On Sunday, March 28, 2021, we'll all see a full, worm moon, rising. It will look big as it appears on the eastern horizon at dusk, all full moons do. But the, worm moon, will appear ever so slightly bigger than most full moons because it will be closer to Earth than most. So is the, worm moon, a, supermoon? That depends on what definition you choose. In fact, depending on the rule you use, the, super worm moon, could be about to kick off a string of four supermoons in a row. How can that be? It's because, supermoons, have no official astronomical definition. In fact, supermoons are more astrological than astronomical. So what is a moongazer to do? Here's everything you need to know about supermoons and why, and why not, the coming full, worm moon, both as and as not a, supermoon. According to the originator of the term, supermoons, astrologer Richard Nolly, we are not about to witness a, super worm moon. His table of supermoons in the 21st century includes just two in 2021. Nolly says, a supermoon is a perigee syzygy, a new or full moon, syzygy, which occurs when the moon is at 90% or greater of its mean closest approach to Earth, perigee. Okay, so we have a few terms to unpack, but they're not complicated. Here's what you need to know. Perigee simply means the closest point to Earth in the moon's monthly orbit. That happens once every month because the moon has a slightly egg-shaped orbit around Earth. Syzygy refers to when the sun, Earth and moon are aligned. That happens twice every month, at new moon, when the moon is between the sun and the Earth, and at full moon, when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. So a perigee syzygy moon is a full moon or a new moon that's particularly close to Earth while Nali calls it a supermoon if it's one of the 10% of closest full moons or new moons. In practice, nobody cares about new moons. After all, they're invisible. Only full moons tend to get the moniker, supermoon. By any calculations, April and May's full moons are the closest in 2021. And the moment of full moon in both cases is less than 12 hours from the moment of perigee, but are they the only supermoons? Well, there is no official definition of a supermoon. Astronomer Fred Espinac defines a supermoon more astronomically as a full moon at perigee occurring within 90% of its closest approach to Earth in a given orbit. That gives four supermoons this year. So you can see quite clearly that May's full moon is the very closest of 2021 followed by April's full moon, with June significantly further away, and this weekend's worm moon, slightly further still. Just to complicate things, timeanddate.com defines a full moon as a supermoon only when it occurs within 360,000 kilometers of Earth, with Sky and Telescope magazine saying 223,000 miles, 358,884 kilometers. Using both yardsticks only April and May's full moons are supermoons. So can we call the upcoming full moon a, super worm moon?